blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father. Lord, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for making me a watchman and giving me dreams and visions and giving me work to do in these last days. I may not be able to walk, Lord, but I work with a joy in my heart and with a smile on my face for you, Lord, for you, Lord, because you are so worthy, Lord. You are so worthy. And I give you all the praise, all the glory, all the honor forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen. The Holy Spirit woke me up early this morning and started giving me this. And I, uh, I quickly started writing it down. And I realized that it was a poem and a message from God. And now I give that message to you, America. And this message goes, I am that I am. I am the God of Israel. And by my very finger I have set my sign upon your nation. I have annulled my promise to protect and pros prosper you. You have, you have been that golden cup in my hand, but no more. I have set the Alpha and the Tav upon your land, the beginning and the end. I will turn my back to you and no longer hear your cries unto me. Babylon, you have crossed me off, turned your back on me. Now I cross you off. And now I turn my back on you. Now judgment comes to Babylon, swift and sure. Wail, weep, O Babylon, I, hear, I no longer hear you. For you have turned away from me and followed other gods, followed doctrines of demons with, it, with itching ears. You have turned your back on the living God, and now the living God turns his back on you. And then... I had, this was I, I was given also um, as as it is written it will be done Jeremiah 50 and 51 and Revelation 17 and 18 is all about America and her judgment and her abominations and her end read and you will see what is to come of America I told you bad times were coming I did not make this up the Holy Spirit gave it to me and I wrote it down as exactly as it was given to me I remind you that now praying for America is like praying for a dead man. Also, I was reminded of this again. Now it's like watching the clock tick down to an execution, ours. And the only, and only those who are washed in the blood and truly born again in Jesus Christ, God's remnant will be saved out of Babylon, just like out of Israel. Revelation 18 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people that ye be not partakers of her sins, that ye receive not of her plagues. Now this, now this verse makes a lot more sense, doesn't it? I also want to remind you of 2 Timothy 1 and 7. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. We are not to live in fear, for these, for these days are the days prophesied by the old prophets, prophets such as Isaiah, Jeremiah, John, and, and, and many others. God is perfect, and his last day's plan is perfect, because God is perfect, so trust God. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 9, For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. Trust God. In all things, trust God. These are the days that I have had many dreams and visions about. Yes, bad times are coming, but you do not have to live in fear, for the God of Israel will, will protect and fight for us. Israel is God's prophetic time clock to the end, and that alarm clock is ringing loud and clear. Are you watching what is happening in Israel? Signs are everywhere, and in, and in everything, and especially with this coming eclipse. Probably the biggest sign from God since Israel became a nation. But is anyone listening? Is anyone hearing the warning? And is anyone acting on these warnings from God? Before one woe ends, another woe begins. Jesus said, when you see all these things come about, look up, for your redemption draweth nigh. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Now, it's like watching the clock tick down to an execution, and only the blood of Jesus will save you, me, or anyone from what is to come. We have all sinned and fallen short in, in God's eyes. And if it were not for the blood of Jesus, we all would have a date with the executioner. These are the last days, and we are of that last generation. Stand strong in the faith, pray, repent, fast, sackcloth, and ashes. These are those days. Always remember that you are a precious child of the Most High Living God, 
who loves you and who treasures you above all the gold of the earth and above all the stars of heaven. And we love and treasure you as well with much love and more grace from above. Amen. We are going home soon. We are going home soon. Praise God Almighty. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. We are going home soon. We have his promise. For we are not appointed to wrath, but to, but to salvation by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your promises. And thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your sacrifice that you made for us. We owe you a debt. We owe you a debt that we could never repay. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen.